Here I'm explaining the epsilon scan in the CYK parsing for tree adjoining grammars. And I hope you have seen my previous video where I explain the leg scan because I will, in that video, I explain the setup of the whole video series. So, um, and I don't want to um, bore people by explaining the same things in every video. So here I'm just explaining the epsilon scan. The example looks very similar to the previous one. The rule here says we can apply the epsilon scan without any previous items in the chart, or we don't need any items in, uh, for that. The rule in this, the site condition for the rule says that we are supposed to have a tree at a specific node where the label is epsilon and the only one that where that applies to is in this case the alpha 2 tree so i will add in a readable color i will add a new item and this this definition says i am um, i here i have to write down the tree so in this case it's alpha 2 it's the only tree i have with an epsilon node then here I'm supposed to write down the gone address of the node. In this case, it's the first daughter node, so it's 1t. And I'm supposed to write down the span. And in this case, well, I, I actually, I don't know where this could be because there could be an epsilon before the first a or between the two or even after the end. Well, in this case, I'm supposed to write down only the, only the successful items. So in this case, I can see that the epsilon is here at position 2, so between this, the second A and the, between the A at the second position and the B at the third position. So I write down the span in this case from 2 to 2. And in this case, only because the task asked me to only write down the successful items, I am already done.